Hey, thanks for tuning in guys. I'm excited about this one today. Today we're going to be reviewing a, another new guitar I got. It's been just a crazy few weeks of just getting new guitars in that I ordered a long time ago. The guitar I want to review today is the Veritas Mini Master. It's a company called Veritas. They just do custom guitars. This one I ordered two years ago called the Craftsman series actually and I think it's their it's their take on a jazz master It's got the Bigsby instead of the normal jazz master trim It's just all around a cool guitar. I already did open this one got it in a week ago I'm Just now getting to the reviews on it So yeah, let's get let's get it open and see See how it is Here we have the case that they got me. This is how it came out of the box Let's give it an open up here. It's a beautiful guitar. All right, here it is. This is a Ferritas Mini Master, like I said. I ordered it about two years. This is the Craftsman model. They don't make these anymore. I believe it's all just custom shop now. The Craftsman used to be kind of a mid-tier model that you could get for a pretty decent price. Um, I think this one was like 2,600. Um, so this isn't the custom, but it's close. The Craftsman's pretty much like a standard set for getting custom quality, but you can't totally customize it. I chose black, you know, got the gold pick guard. These are the, they're called the Polecats, which is the Veritas P90s that they make. I'll probably be throwing a set of Fralins in here, and I might be doing a demo of that too, where we compare them, but let's hear how it sounds. We'll do it without the compressor first. So, one thing to note is I'm running to the Ruby and the Dream. I used to do the Iridiums and Stereo. Figured we'll see how these sound today. I totally don't have them dialed in yet, but I'm still figuring them out. Alright, let's play around. So that's clean tone, bridge, middle. These are the pole cats once again. They're pretty spanky, but pretty mellow. They get pretty clean. We'll try the neck pickup. Do some Benson preamp action. With a little bit of reverb. Okay, let's try the kilt. With some modulation.
I just realized I forgot to turn on my compressor. Let's put that on. There we go. That uh, definitely brought it up a lot more in volume and just more oomph. guitar just plays perfect. Uh, this is a medium C neck. This is their standard, most popular choice. I believe they also have a slim profile and a thick profile. On their website, there's a lot of different options. With the Craftsman, there were only three. I just chose the medium and it feels pretty, it's, it feels great. Somehow the back feels super, it's not um, sticky. It just feels like a really smooth wood. I, like just super smooth but no glossy it's not glossed at all it, it feels like it's been sanded down but like it's perfectly smooth it's just a great feeling neck i imagine all their guitars are like that i do have one other one i have their portlander model might do another video of that but the neck feels the same on that one too they just do a really good job on their necks we got the roller bridge. That's pretty standard on all, most of their guitars. Some people say it sucks tone. I haven't noticed really any tone suckage, especially with the kind of music I play with lots of drive and gain and effects. So I think that makes up for any tone suck. Yeah, we'll just play around with it some more. Maybe we'll kick on a heavy drive, heavy boost. I'm gonna go to my highest, hottest patch. <laughs>
Well, these are pretty good. Yeah, these so these are the Polecat pickups. You can buy these from Veritas as well. They're called they call them Pioneer pickups. That's their pickup company name, but I think they're made by Veritas as well. These sound really good. Like I said, I ordered a set of Fralin P90s, Lindy, Lindy Fralin, just because I want for this guitar. I think I want more of a classic, aggressive sound, kind of what you'd find in like the early. 1560s Les Pauls with the P90s. I'm looking for something like, you know, something early um, and aggressive like that. Here's a closer look at it. It's a beautiful guitar. My favorite thing is these headstocks that they have. They put a they put a coin in the headstock there. And I just think that's super cool. It's super unique. I don't think there's any other guitar manufacturer that puts a coin in the headstock. It's probably not a big deal to a lot of you, but I just like weird, quirky things like that. I think it's super cool. Anyways, yeah, let me know if you have any Veritases. Feel free to share them in the comment section below. Uh, I'd love to hear your opinion on them. Um, and then tell me what you think of the Ruby and the Dream. Because those are the new amp simulators that I got, and I'm comparing them to the two Iridiums that I used to run. Today I was running the Fender, the Dream 65, on one channel, and then the Ruby on the other. It's running them in stereo. On the Ruby, I was using the Blueback uh, AC30 speaker. And on the Dream, I was using the EV12. That one just seems a little more mm, put together. It's a lot more punchier. A lot less bass and a lot less highs. It seems to have a little more mids. Anyways, yeah, feel free to like. Remember to subscribe. Please like the video. If you enjoyed this, I'll be putting out more content. And thanks for tuning in. Until next time.